Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you the performance of Mac Mini M1. So let's get started. So as you can see right now I have open Motion, FCP, Photoshop with four documents and Blender and I also open Safari with the four tabs as you can see. So let's jump to Motion. So I'll just hit the playback. And you can see it's playing in real time. I'll just scrub. It's a three title still, it's playing smoothly. Let's jump to FCP. Now you can see I have the same clips I have just copy pasted, so let's play. And I can see it's again playing in real time. I'll scrub. I can see there's no stutter at all. So I'll just speed up this clip. Let's play again. And still it's playing in real time. Now let's jump to Photoshop and have and here I have four documents open. Actually I have I have made uh, three duplicates here and it has three text so let's uh, make one more three text here as you see and now I'll just scale it move it there's no issue at all now let's go to blender and here you can see I have lots of object right and you can see the mesh quality as well so let's add few more so as you can see I have just lots of model and now I also have three lights here so let's render and there you have so it's running again rendering very fast with so many objects three lights so as you can see with just 8 gb ram and m1 processor it's working everything very well i can work simultaneously in all the apps like suppose i want to add something here I'll go to three object and add uh, auto educational and 3D model here. I'll scale it and it'll play in real time again. Motion, Final Cut, Photoshop, Blender, very demanding app. It's not struggling at all with so many models and you can see the quality the mesh air as well it's unbelievable like <laughs> i can't believe because my old max can't do this at all and i'm recording as well so so many things happening and there's no starter at all i hope you find it useful thank you so much for watching